Get this damn baby gap shirt off. What the hell? Oh, it's a little bit better than this. This fit kind of snug too, but it's a lot better than that last one. Oh, shit. Cammy has this rule where I can't get out of bed without giving her love. So let's go give Cammy some love. Good morning. I smell your breath through your chin. This morning I'm doing a whole bunch of research. Obesity facts and got a pop shop appointment at 9.30 with my man Trey. And after that I'm going to the gym. And I'm doing chest today. So a lot of people ask me about my chest routine. I'm gonna show you my chest routine today. Oh I'm making <laughs> <Kimmy's> up. <laughs> you hiding behind a tree. Yeah. I don't want for you to get up. I am. Look at your nipples. Oh. Now I don't I don't eat breakfast. Well I eat breakfast food but not first thing in the morning like most of America do. I'm a part of a secret society called intermittent fasting, right? So I typically don't eat until about noon or one o'clock and I have an eight hour eating window window. So from from noon to eight is the hours that I get all my calories in. And this is my little secret that helps me stay lean. I just thought about something while I'm sitting here waiting for Dre to show up. I get a lot of emails, I get a lot of comments from, from, from men who have so many excuses as to why they can't, they can't achieve their fitness goals, they can't get their health together. But let me tell y'all something, you have to change the narrative in your head. You have to stop telling yourself that it's hard. You have to stop telling yourself that you can't do it because that's gonna get you nowhere. It's gonna get you nowhere. Try telling yourself that it's easy. Even if you don't believe it in the beginning, tell yourself that it's easy. And eventually it's gonna become easy. Once you combine the new mindset with actually doing the work, I guarantee you you will get a hell of a lot farther telling yourself it's easy than you than you will if you continue to tell yourself that it's hard. Because it's not hard. It's not hard. It's necessary. Nothing's more important than our health. And if you continue to make excuses and put in putting other things in front of your health, which is ludicrous to me, then you're going to you're going to continue to stay in the same place that you are. You're never going to get anywhere with that with the same old narrative with the excuses you're not gonna get anywhere cut it out you want to watch me now before Drake get here you got a second what's up bro oh yeah appreciate you bro yes sir yes sir it's a good feeling man Hey Stace. How are you? Congratulations. I'm, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Make my salad. Shut up. Time to get this cut. One of the dopest verses. My man about to bring back to life. My man is doing his second comedy show right here at the shop. It's gonna be so lit, December 17th. Going in. Jokes. I can't wait, man. I'll bring my fiance. Man, that shit still feels weird when I say it. That took a little longer than I expected it, but whatever. When you're your own boss, that's totally okay. Yeah, Dre had a lot going on this morning. I did. Yeah. Ooh. Broccoli. This is like the operation. I already did the other ones in here. Hmm. See them for? Nice. So look, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm gonna be working chest and calves today. I gotta work these little ass calves. The calves be embarrassing me, man. I've been wearing sweatpants in the gym because my calves look all little. I should be ashamed of myself. So I'm gonna show you guys my routine. I'm gonna do chest, calves, and some sprints, man, because I'm trying to get the last bit of this little body fat up off me. Thank you. 
in about 30 to 45 seconds in between each set so I'm not going super heavy I'm trying to get all four sets knocked out back to back Now for those downward cable flies, I personally don't think you should go too heavy because of the, the position that it puts your shoulder in. I think that's a compromising position. If you, if you got heavy ass weight on the cable and you're pulling your shoulder back here, I think that's just asking for a shoulder injury. So I kind of go real moderate when I, when I do cable flies, but I go heavier when I do the upright, uh, whatever that is called, I think it's an upright I'll correct it and I'll research it and put it on the screen. But I can go a little bit heavier when I'm doing the down, down to up motion because it doesn't put any stress on my shoulder. Now I used to feel pressured to lift heavy ass weights. I used to compare myself to what other people were lifting, but that's just setting yourself up for disaster. Go at your pace. My goals. I'm not trying to get stronger. I'm not trying to get bigger. My goal right now is just to maintain the muscle that I have. So I lift at a moderate, at moderate weight that I can control safely so I, I don't get injured. And I make sure I tire my muscles out. Uh, I lift at a, a, a weight that I can recover in my target time in between sets so I don't have to take two, three minutes in between sets. I'm in and out the gym. But once my goals change, once I'm trying to put mass on or trying to get stronger, then my weights will change. But I don't, I don't concern myself with looking like a macho man in the gym. Some people look at my weight and say, that's all he's lifting. But you know what? I'm safe, I'm lean, I'm fit, I'm healthy. And that's what matters. What's going on? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. My, my bad about the hold up. I literally just got off the treadmill. I was trying to catch you before your meeting. So it is now 2.17, and I'm about to eat my first meal of the day. My workout is out the way. My haircut is out the way. Let me put these eggs in here. Whew. I'm running a little bit late to get the kids because I hit crazy traffic on the highway. I normally, the traffic's normally not this bad at this time of the day. Help you. Yes, I'm here to pick up Alyssa and RJ. Hey guys, sorry. Hi, Daddy. It was so much traffic. It was so much traffic. RJ, how you shoot? Hello, camera. Hello. 
making a quick pre dinner snack. So I'm eating some ground turkey crumbles and egg whites. This is about to be so bomb, like I have no clue. How's your food? Delicious. I can tell. Smoking. Literally. It's lit. At the night show. Ooh. I don't have a YouTube channel. So we had an excellent Friday. <laughs> Right? Uh huh. We just ate Brenner. Hey, Mushka. This one's Mushka. Both uh -uh. of them are. All right. Well, is we're, we're about to watch Elf. They are. And have yeah. some popcorn. Popcorn. Healthy popcorn. No, a normal popcorn. Then why did it say healthy popcorn on it? Good night, everybody. Don't cover me.